guys welcome back so as you guys can tell from the title of this video that we're still stuck on mud and tape um, and the taper guy he still comes out he, he's doing a good job from as far as I can tell but he's just taking his sweet time so it looks like he has started putting the second coat of mud. As you guys can see, it needs a little bit more work. But for the most part, I have no complaints. Uh, he's, he's doing a good job, uh, especially in the windows, because there's a lot of windows, so. Um, so, yeah. Everything else looks the same. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but um, as far as the interior work goes, mud, tape, and sanding is the most important part because once paint goes on, you could see all the imperfections. And, and that's why I think I, I told him to take his time because, you know, it's, it needs to be done right. Uh, yeah, so, it looks good I'm not I'm not really worried about him but so once painting is done we're gonna work on the railing so this railing needs to finish up we're gonna do the flooring of the upstairs first um, and I'll show you guys what kind of flooring we got um, so so yeah, we're gonna be doing flooring and bathroom at the same time. And it's a kind of expensive flooring, but if this house was just for me, I wouldn't care about it, but because a lot of people hopefully gonna be showing up. Um, so this is the flooring. Uh, I don't even know if you guys can see it well, but yeah. I got 800 square feet of this flooring and it's 100% waterproof, scratch proof, whatever proof. So, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see, we'll test it out for sure. But, but yeah, um, another thing, I know you guys seeing a lot of cleaning, but another thing that I'm really excited about is, in case you guys haven't noticed, this place got a little green. I finally got some grass growing. So hopefully they're not gonna die because it's kind of expensive seed. This has only been, I think 12 days. And, and I actually counted the days. In 12 days, this is how it shows. I think another two weeks is gonna look really good. So once again, I have to call the gravel guy to bring some gravel because this is going to be entering into a another driveway or a, like a cul-de-sac. We're keeping all these trees because again it provides great shade. This area will be a picnic area. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put like gravel and then like a picnic table and a barbecue and all that good stuff but it's gonna be a great place right here. Uh, oh, let me show you guys another thing that I've been working on, but I haven't really recorded. So I'm finishing up this bottom part. So I don't know how well you guys can see. Like I said, this is just the basement. I don't really care for it much. But I want to make it look at least presentable to a certain extent. So this is one this is how I started. And I'm painting it black. And then this entire thing will be all black. So all it is is pine wood little one by twos. And I'm gonna put an outdoor exterior paint and then be done with this spot. And this area 
we're gonna just put some rocks in here we don't want anything to grow because you know just gonna bring more bugs and stuff so that's one of my goals is to paint everything up finish it let me kind of show you guys also the back of the cabin because I know you guys have been seeing the front but let me show you guys we got a little flower pot going here um, we got our gutters that we haven't spot still have installed it so we cleared all of this we pushed everything out moved all the trees uh, this pretty thing right here I know everybody wants to know uh, especially the guys I work with uh, they want to know what the hell is happening with this and um, nothing uh, so <laughs> we're just doing nothing with it we're just gonna let nature destroy it because I cannot dedicate any more time to this I would love to kind of tear it down and and start like saving everything but that requires a lot of time I'm trying to get my neighbor to come out and work for a few hours and start tearing this down but but yeah this is just a motivator to keep going and not stop but the back of it is still a mess and just to kind of add to this and I, I know I'm dragging this video really long because you know I got nothing else to talk about because of this unfortunate event I might have an opportunity to kind of redesign this whole thing and refigure it uh, and I think I have some cute ideas yeah so I'm just gonna drag this video as long as possible so anytime you guys are bored you could just turn it off <laughs> so yeah these water toads that I bought before we had water if anybody wants to buy it they're a hundred bucks uh, they were used for uh, I think it was grape juice uh, uh, I bought it from a winery uh, so so it's you could put water in it yeah so yep this is a food grade that means it's safe to put water in here and all that good stuff but what else I don't know what the goal for this video is guys so I'm just gonna show you guys the property I guess we've been burning stuff here we've been burning out stuff there and let me guys show you guys my wall of firewood again because we've been stacking them up and also let me show you guys my shipping container in case you guys forgot <laughs> so we got a whole new wall of firewood and it just keeps going keep going all right so this is my shipping container future luxury tiny home maybe <laughs> but right now I just store everything here I got my leftover drywall tools you know thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one